Hi everyone, it's Emily again. Um, as I've talked about, I'm doing a nice mini series about getting to know all of our Apple teachers um, and what they do. And I'm actually here with the fabulous Miss Nikki, who is actually our Apple II teacher at Lake in the Hills. So um, as you guys are watching, make sure that you guys uh, add any comments that you guys have, any questions that you may have for myself or Nikki. Um, we'll be happy to answer them and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and all those other uh, wonderful social media platforms. So, Nikki, just tell us a little bit about yourself. So, I am 28. I'm from Chicago. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in psychology from Northern Illinois University. I have worked with adults with disabilities. Um, BPI is the first company I've worked for with children with disabilities. Um, I absolutely love what I do. I love working with the kiddos, and um, yeah. <laughs> we love having you here. Nikki brings such a, like, a high energy to BPI. I come in here, and I always know that she's going to put a smile on my face, and I love it. <laughs> um, so could you tell the audience just a little bit about your role as the Apple II teacher? Yeah, absolutely. So I work 11 to 7 every day. Um, I do run directs during the day with the Apple kiddos. I... In the afternoon, my Apple II kiddos would generally be a little bit older. Um, we have some five-year-olds. We have a couple kiddos that are seven or eight. And I run literacy time where we encourage who, what, when type of questions. Um, we run STEAM activities, anything from like an engineering uh, type activity, math, things like that. And we also do a fun social activity. So something where the kiddos are engaging, whether it's tag, kit ball, puzzles, uh, any type of board game, something to encourage that social aspect. And we have a lot of fun. So yeah, good time. I, I love that social aspect. It really um, brings together like asking a peer for an item that they may not have or things mm -hmm. like that. So that you're just opening up the conversation a bit more. Yeah, um, yeah I love that. So. I'm curious, what do you find so unique about Apple II? I find Apple II unique because it gives us a chance to open the doors to older learners and to kind of really encourage that social aspect. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said, contriving opportunities for the kiddos to engage with one another, one another, excuse me, ask questions, um, and just kind of learning how to engage in a social setting, in a group setting. Um, it just gives them opportunities to learn things that they wouldn't be able to maybe learn at Apple, being a little bit older. Yeah, Apple too is um, definitely, it's our after school program, so there is a lot more opportunities to really get that social aspect going. Um, then during the day, they're focusing a lot on skill acquisition and mm -hmm. things that you would be typically do, doing during yeah, school. Um, where Apple too, I feel like is more of that like, so like you're still working on ABA techniques always, mm -hmm. but you provide a lot more social opportunities. We always have like a social game and um, things that you can do more as a group, uh, where a lot of it um, in the morning and stuff, we're doing more individual tasks and stuff like that, yeah. um, where there may be some social aspects, mm -hmm. but it's not contrived as much as it is during Apple too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we've talked in the past and for those of you guys that are um new maybe to our um video blog or if you guys are following along um we've talked in the past about activities that we do typically we do around three activities um mm -hmm. during apple and since nikki kind of has the nice uh experience of being apple and apple too i was kind of mm -hmm. curious as to what your favorite activity is that we've done so during apple too i have i mean there's a lot of activities that we've done, both Steam and social games that I really enjoy, but one that really sticks out to me is playing hide and seek. And the reason for that is being able to see the kiddo's face when their friend finds them and they just have this huge surprise look on their face and this big smile and they're able to man for their friend to chase them or for staff to chase them and go find, you know, your friend, it's, it's wonderful. And to see them running and just looking for that social interaction is is it's such a simple game but there's so much that comes from it yeah i love that it teaches not only um uh, like social interaction and seeking out appropriate social mm -hmm. like attention from peers but it also teaches like spatial awareness yeah. not obviously going up to someone and just like hardly tapping them you're exactly. nicely tapping and be like you're it um mm -hmm. and taking turns and really practicing some of that mm -hmm. i also love that it also incorporates some other skills 
through ADA, such as gross motor and mm -hmm. reinforcement and things like that too. Mm -hmm. So I definitely love when we play tag, especially since there's so many variations of tag yeah. out there. Um, I think my favorite type of tag is freeze tag and uh, teaching new rules and everything like that to learners too. Mm -hmm. There's just so much you can incorporate with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then I'm curious as to what is the coolest thing here at Lake in the Hills? I know that there's so many things. They've got a lounge room with like <laughs> a Wii. Um, is it a Wii U? What was there's it again? Gaming systems there. I don't even know. Yeah, I, I mean, they have so many things that are unique about them, um, about here. But I was curious as to what you thought the most unique thing is about Lake in the Hills. So we have a lot of awesome activities, like you were saying, a lot of gaming systems. We have um, a lot of different areas for the kiddos to engage. There's yeah. a reading area, a little mini library. Yeah. There's a ball pit area. Um, but really what I love here, and, you know, coming from the staff point of view, is the teamwork, is the the just general, like, wonderful, just, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Family? Yeah, kind of like a, like a family-orientated vibe yeah. here. Everyone gets along, everyone is client-centered, and, and we all love working together. We all just kind of play together with the kiddos and try to make it the most just wonderful experience for the kiddos every single day. And there really is... A, a beautiful vibe when you come into this clinic, like there is with all of the clinics at BPI. Um, they're all client-centered, and we all really care about the kiddos and their development, and you can really tell that during Apple and Apple II. Yeah, I think that, I think where you're going with that is I come in and I see here at Lake in the Hills that everyone's willing to jump in with everyone. Yeah. Everyone knows the client's programming and everything like that. Uh, and so it never feels like you're just working, like you can't just tell like that Susie was only ever working with one client. It feels like Susie has worked with every single one of these mm -hmm. clients. And so it really brings that family feel back and that you feel like I supported throughout my day completely. Um, yeah, very supportive atmosphere. Here. Yeah, I love it. I love the family aspect. I come in and they greet me with a smile every single <laughs> time I'm here. Um, so yeah, um, so as we've talked about, mm -hmm. Both Apple and Apple II tend to do literacy time, mm -hmm. um, and literacy is such a big part of what we do. I'm curious as to what your favorite book is. So, well, I am a huge just Dr. Seuss fan. <laughs> I have yet to meet a kiddo that does not love a Dr. Seuss book, mm -hmm. uh, both my younger kiddos and my older kiddos. But one book in particular, the, the author escapes me, but it's called The Bad Seed. Mm -hmm. And it has a beautiful message in that it starts with this angry little seed, and then a bunch of terrible things happen to him, and then he kind of realizes the good in people. And it, it, it changes him into doing good things and helping mm -hmm. others. And it has a beautiful message. There's so many opportunities for me to kind of engage with the kiddos and discuss the book with them. And I've had a couple of my kiddos actually ask me to read the book again to them. Yeah. So that really warmed my heart. So the bad seed, it's a cute little story. <laughs> I love the symbolism also with yeah. it. Like that there's the kids are like little seeds and then they're obviously gonna grow and mm -hmm. they grow and mm -hmm. they grow as a person and yeah. they become happier. <laughs> I love it. Um, so then we've got to know you a little bit. We got to know about Apple II and what you do with Apple and, and Apple II, which is kind of curious. What is your favorite Apple? <laughs> My favorite Apple would probably be a Fuji Apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are good ones. Big fan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's getting to be apple picking season. I love it. Um, yeah, I just love, I love fall. Oh, yeah. It's a great time. time. Yeah, it's absolutely. a great time to get the, the learners outside too and play. I know that um, we have a lot of activities co activities coming up mm -hmm. um, with trees and apple picking or mm -hmm. and like practicing those fine motor skills of picking things out. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Tons of activities for fall, my favorite season. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Nikki, for thank joining you. us. Thank you guys for following yeah. along. Um, tune in next week where I'm going to introduce another yeah. Apple teacher. Um, each time you guys see me, we'll get to know a little bit more about Apple and everything that um, our teachers do. But if you guys liked anything that we talked about, please follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. I'm going to add some of those books um, that we talked about and activities in the comments. So if you want to try anything out at home, um, please do. Let me know how it goes. Um, and if there's any questions you have, just let me know. Again, thank you so much for joining. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>